What's up, farmers, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back, everybody. I've got a new tutorial, and as you can see, yeah, it's a barn. You just saw the uh, epic intro. Hopefully it was epic. I don't know. Just thought it looked really cool to uh, set off a barn. <laughs> so anyways, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to build, guess what? A fucking barn. Uh, so anyways, we're going to do a real quick run through here. You kind of saw it in the fly through in the, uh, the intro that I just had. Uh, those that follow my, uh, whoops, wrong key. Uh, those that are following the uh, no bullshit texture pack reviews, uh, this has been uh, shown in that. This is part of our, uh, our new texture pack walkthrough. Uh, I actually built it for that. Uh, that's why the, the, the pens here are kind of a little recessed to keep the fucking animals in there. Uh, but in your barn, you can do it however you want. So I'm going to show you how to build the outside of this thing, and then you can put the pens in however the hell you want. So here it is. Let's get fucking rolling. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some real quick dimensions. And like usual, I rip everything apart, make it easier to look at, and then also it gives you a place to pause it and look at the dimensions. So looking at it from the front, that's the way all these are. We've got 12 on the left, 6 in the middle, and that's right here, and then 12 on that side which is a total of 30 and the depth is 40 so if we look at it from this side which is the only side that's different and it's cut in a little bit and you don't have to cut this in um, right here there's a stack of blocks and I'll show you here in a minute it's no big deal uh, this is where the door is that's where I chose to have the side entrance on this barn uh, and of course that goes out to the you know field or whatever the fuck where they go grazing so anyways we got 8 10 4 10 8 and that's your layout 30 by 40 real simple and the next one, we'll go ahead and build it up on top of that. And we're going to build this here in just a minute. I'm just flying through real quick and showing you uh, uh, some uh, quick layouts. And uh, this is what it's going to look like on the second stage. And this is what it's going to look like when it's built up to this stage. And, of course, it's eight high total, seven is right there. And this will be the roof pattern. And this will be the final roof covering. So we'll fly in here for just a quick second. And that's what we're going to have. So if you're all ready, let's get over here and build this son of a bitch. All right, so we're going to use the back left-hand corner as the reference point. And we're going to start right here, and we're going to drop one piece of wood. And you can use whatever, uh, whatever uh, planks you want to use for it. I'm using just regular oak. And we're going to go 40 that way and 30 this way. One, two, three, four, five. And we got 40 to the front. Now we're going to do 12 from each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we're going to do the cutout for the tracks here in the middle. So we're going to go in one block. We're going to go in one more block and come out another block. And then we're just going to go ahead and fill this in. And then the side walls are three wide. 1, 2, 3. And that will run up this way. And you can fill this in. And then you're going to come out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. You can do the same thing over here. You're going to come in one, in one, out one. Fill this in. This is three wide. One, two, three. And that will go down the side this way. And then you're going to come out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to set up for the red wool. And basically you're going to start right here on the corner. And you're going to go six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. The same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, and six. And six. Now we're going to fill this in with wood. And you're going to have the same thing in the back corners. And this is what you should have. Now on the right hand side, if you want the cutout for the uh, for the barn doors, and I'm going to show you that real quick. And the only difference is, is we just built this part right here that goes across. So in the next step, uh, if you decide not to have your doors here, that's fine. You can go ahead and cut this out. Uh, when you lay that right hand side down, all you got to do is have uh, eight. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then there's 10 blocks here and then that goes to this block right here and there's four wide and then again it is 10 and then eight so it looks exactly like the other side the only difference is is we we put a full set of blocks right here so we can go back over to the main cutout and I'm gonna go ahead and do it just because that's the way it's built so we've got eight one two three four five six seven eight we're gonna take out ten that's probably more than ten but whatever two three four five six seven eight and then we're gonna go uh, ten two three four five six seven eight nine ten holy shit so then then we're gonna have four wide so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're gonna cut it through and that's where your barn doors will go all right so now we're gonna start building the walls up and you're gonna go up by one here and here and then go right across like that and you're gonna come out one and you're gonna go in two and one here and now you're gonna start with your white wool and put one block here one there and one here and then you're gonna have your red like that and we're gonna fill this in and we're gonna have one piece of wood right here and then uh, we've got then we got one piece of wood here and one piece of red block here and that's just setting up for your X pattern and actually I think this is behind the wall I don't think yeah you'll probably see that from the inside we'll we'll check it out here in just a minute but now you're gonna have red wool here and you're gonna build the other side the same way so you're gonna have block here like that and then you're kind of gonna come back to the red in one in one and another one and then in one here so that's what you'll have looking from the inside no that's not what you're gonna fucking have from the inside god damn it motherfucker all right so we're gonna take that block out actually so that's what we're looking at so far and we're gonna put another block right there so basically this mirrors that side right there now we're gonna build up this side and we're gonna do the same thing we did on that side so we're gonna have one white block white block white block and now we're gonna put in the red ones All right, now you're going to start here at the corner and you're going to have wood planks right here and you're going to have three wide right here and then you're going to have your middle wall that goes down through here so uh, from the inside all you're going to see is whoops fuck not that is that right there so this can be wood it doesn't matter you're not going to see that and same thing here you're not going to see that either so on this side just put in two blocks here and now fill the back up with red and that'll cover up that white block so that's what you should have so far now we're going to take the planks we're going to run them down the middle and you reach this corner now we're going to put our white blocks back in down here same same way we did on the front corner and we're going to put a wood plank right here and then you're going to have three across here like that and in the back corner, you're going to have five blocks again going to the inside. One, two, three, four, five. And then this is going to be filled in here, just like that. And that one on the outside. Back fill this with red. Fill the front up with red. And then fill the front of this up with red. And fill that one with planks. And that's what you should have on that side. Now do the same thing on this side. All right, so now we're gonna come here. We're gonna put one block there and one block here. We're gonna count in three. One, two, three, put a block. One, two, three, and put a block. And that's what the back should look like. All right, we're gonna start this back corner, back left-hand corner. This is where the first torch goes for your lighting. You're gonna skip that and then put a block here and then count one, uh, three. One, two, three, and put a block. And now you're gonna do it again. One, two, three, put a block skip one that's where a torch is going to go and then we're going to have two blocks in the middle and then the pattern is going to repeat so you skip one put a block count three one two three put a block count one two three and put a block and that's where your other torch goes here and then you can put one here and here and then do the exact same thing on the other side and if you've got your opening for your barn door it's going to be just slightly different you're going to have two blocks on either side of the door 
and then you're going to count three, one, two, three, and put a block. And then you can count three, one, two, three, and put a block. And your torch will go here. And same thing over here. So you can count one, two, three, and put a block. One, two, three, and put a block. And there's your torch. So that's what you should have for your ground level. Alright, so let's build the opening to the barn door, and actually that block does not go there. We're going to have five high. One, two, three, four, five. And there's two there, three, four, five. And now we're just going to go ahead and put this cross section in. And do the same thing on the inside here. Alright, so it's supposed to look like... Uh, a set of sliding doors. You're gonna have a set of tracks here, and I don't have them on me right now, but you're gonna put those right there uh, after the build. You don't have to do that right now. It's not really important. So we're gonna go one block above, and then we're gonna bring this one up, and that's what the opening should look like when it's done. Cool. All right, now we're gonna build up the rest of the front. So these come across, and then these come up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to build these up one more. So that should be seven high from the bottom block. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and build the X pattern in the front. It's pretty easy. You put one here, one here, two blocks of red, two blocks, four blocks of white, and then fill in with the red. And then the white. And then the red, and the red, 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 and white. And you're going to do the same thing on basically all four corners. So here, here, and then the other two sides in the back. And then I'll show you how to do it on the sides. Now we're going to build the sides up. It's the exact same pattern. This is really easy to follow, guys. This is seven high, and I'm just building the walls up. So once we have that, now we can build the middle part here. And then do the other four corners the exact same way. And I'll just go ahead and note, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. This gets filled in with solid red wood, or uh, red wool. And then the side walls, they just get filled in solid with uh, planks. So you don't even see that. So that's what your inside corner should look like when they're done. Now for the side door, you're just going to count up two, one, two, and if you're just making this solid, just make it solid. And then you're going to build up right here. And then outside of that. And just build up the rest of them.
All right, so if you want to go ahead and put windows in it, this is how it's done. You skip one block, and then it is three by four high. So you have one blocks at the bottom, one set of blocks at the top. And I think it's pretty obvious where it goes, but I'm going to show you. Now your back glass, same thing, it goes right in the openings. All right, now we're going to go ahead and build everything up by one more block. All right, now we're gonna create an overhang on the inside of the barn. So everywhere there's a gap, we're just gonna go ahead and put planks in it. Now we're gonna run another set of planks just to the inside of the side runs at the very top. One on that side, and then one on this side. And that's what you should have there. Now we're going to put a couple uh, support beams in, and it's just going to put two here, and then two there, just above the door opening. And then same thing over here, you're going to put two here and two there. And that'll set up for your main beam that goes across the middle. So this is what we should have so far. Oops, I forgot one right here. That's what we should have so far. Now we're going to do the same thing on the outside. So we're going to start here at the front sliding doors and we're going to put beams in everywhere there's an opening. Alright guys, now we're going to start setting up for the roof and we're going to start on the front right hand corner and we're going to count up three blocks. One, two, three. And we're going to put one on the inside and then we're going to go on the inside of that and we're going to build up again. Except we're going to go four blocks and then of course, and then we're going to have one block in front of that, just like that right there. And now we're going to have an inside run that goes right across the front of the barn, just like this. And that goes all the way over to the other corner and we're going to put the same thing on the other corner here, there, count in one block here, and then three, so you're going to have one, two, three, and this one will have four, and one out, so that's what you should have so far, all right, so now we're going to count into the eighth block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the eighth block, we're going to have one plank here, and one plank here, and this will be four high, one, two, three, four, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, Count into the eighth block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then put another one and count up four blocks. And now we're going to go up by two on each side. And then we're going to connect across the middle, which should give you four blocks. And these are just uh, trim pieces here. You don't have to have them, but I just I thought it trimmed out that front opening and it looked pretty good. Now we're going to go over here on the side and we're going to go up five diagonal blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. And then on the sixth block, we're going to go up one more here, but we're going to come over two, three, and that should line right up with this right here. So you should have six total diagonal blocks, three over, and then it connects here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And that's what you should have so far. Now we're going to go right here on the inside of this block and we're going to go up by one. And then we're going to go over two. And now, and now we're going to go over four. One, two, three, and four. And this should line up from the other side. Go up one and then go in two. And that's what you should have. And that's basically the framework for the top of your roof. 
All right, now back down to the right-hand corner on the third block. One, two, three. You're going to come out one and then forward one. And this is going to be the start of your overhang. And then you're going to have two down below that. One here and one here. And all that does is just pulls over like that. And we'll build pretty much the same thing on the other side and we'll connect all the solid blocks. And I've got some half blocks in here too. Uh, but this is going to build up on the outside and goes right in between these little openings. So it's going to look just like this. And you're going to pull these back so that it overlaps the tops of these. And then work your way up. And then right here, this will be your first set of half blocks. And they'll go, whoops, they'll go, <laughs> they'll go right there. And then you've got two more solid ones just on top of that that come out. And then we'll just go ahead and pull those through. So that's what you should have so far. And then we're going to build up the other side just like that. So that's what we have so far, guys. Hope everybody's doing good. Let's keep moving. All right, so just after this half block, you're going to have two solid blocks. And then just on top of this solid block, you're going to have one more set of half blocks, just like that. Now you're going to have a full block here. And then you're going to have two blocks here, so it's going to cover that, that one right there. And now you're going to put a set of half blocks just on top of that. So that's what you should have right there. Now you're gonna have a set of full blocks like that. And then this one is gonna cover this inside one here. And then you're gonna put a set of half blocks on top of that. And then two regular blocks right in the middle. So that's how one side's built. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And that's what the front pitch should look like. And that will be repeated on the back, and I'll go over that uh, when we get back there. All right, guys, so now we're going to start building the second layer of the barn, or the upstairs, the hayloft, whatever you want to call it. We're going to come in seven blocks, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're basically going to build this out seven blocks wide. And we're going to go to right here. And then all you're going to have to do is just connect these. All right, now we're going to build inside the door, and we're going to build that in three wide, so two, three. And that's what you should have on the doorway. Now we're going to go on the outside of the doorway. On each side, we're going to have two blocks. And then on the third block, this is where it's going to start building up on the inside. And we're just going to go up four blocks for right now. And then we're going to have three blocks. And then we're going to have a corner block right here, and we're going to build that up four for right now. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So on the third block, we're going to build it up to four, count three more planks, and then build up the, whoops, see, not back there, count up to four. <laughs> All right, now on the inside, we're going to have the red wool. And that's going to stop just underneath these planks here, because that's going to be your roof. So one block underneath is where the red wool is going to go all the way through because your planks will cover it up and you won't see it. All right, guys, so once you have that built, now we're going to cover that up and we're going to add one more bl uh, plank here. So we should have five. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to go up one, two, and then one more here, and then two. And then this should connect right there. 
And just on top of this, we're going to put one more plank because that's going to be covered with the half slabs. And then we're going to come over two more here on the inside. So you're going to go up two here. And then you're going to go up one, two, three. And then the middle will be right here. So you're going to have basically have four planks on the top. And then you'll see where this is going to cover. This will come across for your roof. You can bust that out. Wherever you're going to have a half slab, it doesn't matter. It's going to cover up any of the wool. So this here will have half slabs going across. This is going to have planks going across. Obviously, there will be a, a half slabs here. So we're going to need a plank right in here and here and then across here. And then we're going to need the half slabs again. And all we're doing is just covering up all the shit underneath. And that's what you should have on that side. And now we're going to do the same on this side. All right, now we're gonna start on the walls on the side. So we're gonna need two wide right here. And this is gonna get covered with wool. So you'll see this from the outside and this will run all the way down the side of your barn on the top. And you will see two of them uh, tall, like that. And then on the inside, we're gonna cover that up right here. So you should have four planks like this and then your floor up top should only be too wide going up to it. Now these here should be five high just like the one next to it. And of course this is one of your beams on the outside so this is just going to run all the way down like this. Alright now we're going to go to the outside of the barn and we're going to grab our planks and pretty much kind of finish the roof right here. The things you're not going to see that's going to get covered up is going to be all this right here so we we'll just build that out with planks and then right here of course this is going to cover up all this shit so you can just kind of fill that in and on the outside is what you should see is two rows of the red wool and then it's going to get covered just like that so on the corner you'll have one and then one to the inside and then your wall and then you can just go ahead and pull your planks over and then when we build the other side, we'll go ahead and connect those in. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're just going to go ahead and continue these walls down to the other corner. And we'll get it close and then we'll build the same thing on the other side. Alright guys, as you can see I've built the sides and now I'm just going to go ahead and pull the top across the same way. All the half slabs and all of the solid planks and we're going to stop right here for right now and uh, then we come down here and we're done with the top. Then we're going to build pretty much the exact same thing over here. Alright, so as you pull the top across you're going to make sure that one block is exposed underneath like this and then these two are exposed underneath, these two are exposed underneath those two, those two, those two, and all the way down on the other side. Oops. And just pull all those across and then put your half slabs on top.
All right, now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and connect this wall right here. And this is going to be the main floor. Again, that's going to be seven wide, uh, just like the other end. All right, so on the outside, we're going to put a block here, and we're going to put a block there. And that's basically uh, just a good place to put a torch. That's the only reason that's there. We're going to count into the eighth block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to put another one. And then that's going to go four high total. One, two, three, four. Same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four blocks. Now we're going to go two at an angle. And then four across the middle. And then two at an angle. And that's what your opening looks like again. All right, so now we're just going to count up 10 blocks. It'll make it easier. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and, and, and 10. And there's two blocks here. There should actually be three. So we're going to punch that one out. And now we're going to go down at an angle. One, one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to count up 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to punch out these two blocks and go down at an angle. One, two, three, three, <laughs> three, four, five. And that's what you should have there. All right, now to finish out the inside, we've got one here, we've got one there, and then we've got two in the middle. So we've got one and one. So that's what we should have on the outside. All right, now again, from the inside, we're going to go seven blocks. We've got one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're just going to connect it and fill it in. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pull this in three like we did before. All right, now we're going to go ahead and connect this here. And it should have eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is going to make your corner right here. And this is pretty much the shit that we filled in from the other side. Uh, we'll just build that corner out here. And we're going to build that out four blocks. One, two, three, four. And just go ahead and run that up to the top. And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now you're going to have two blocks opening, and this is going to go all the way to the top right here, right here. And then you're going to have three blocks, and then you should have your corner, which should line up just like that. So we're going to do the same thing over here. And then we've got two blocks, and then this goes all the way to the top. Oops, I'm in one. Like that. And then we're going to backfill this with red wool, just like we did on the other side. All right, now you're going to put trim blocks on the inside just like we did down there. So you should have two here, and then these two, 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 and then two. And then same thing going up the other side. And then you can just throw your torches wherever you want to. And that looks good for now, just so you can have some light. And then the last thing we're going to do is put this main beam in the middle, and we're finished, guys. And that's real simple to do. All we got to do is let me throw some light down here so you can see. And I'll put some up here so we can see. It's, all it is is two wide the whole way. So you're going to come up two. And then you're going to come across two like this. And then run up your wall two. And then everywhere there's a gap through the middle, you're going to have two blocks all the way across the top. All right, guys, well, that's it. That's our barn, and all you'll have to do is just fill in down here at the bottom wherever you want some more torches and finish out with your glass. Lay out your pens how you want to because you should have plenty of space in here, and there's your side doors, and we'll fly outside and look at it one more time, and that's it.
looks just like the other one. Everything should be good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.